up here written the standard English version of the question, which is, who did John hope he would see? That's the sentence you probably say when you're speaking. And then we have, who did John hope would he see, which is what they would say in the Belfast dialect. And as you can see, the difference is right here, is how those two words are ordered. The Belfast sentences like this are used to prove how sentences are formed in the mind. So in order to form a question like this, it's thought you start with this, this statement. Now, all this one shows you, the English one, is that who is going to move up here, and it's going to cause an inversion of this and this, and they're going to switch and form who did John Hope. So all that proves is this WH triggers an inversion here. What the Belfast one proves is this who stops somewhere in here. And since we're not doing X part tree, we're not going to worry about where exactly it stops. It causes these two to invert, causing the would he that you see here, and then moves again to this place, and then, like, again, causes these two to invert giving you the Belfast example. There are languages where the question word just stays where it is, like I believe Chinese is one. But in English there's something in these spaces that call, almost calls up the WH. Um, and, and apparently it is, it is located at every clause. Because if you did a longer sentence in Belfast that had multiple clauses, like this, it would switch at every single one as you get up, and not just the top like it does in general English. Per linguistics is figuring out how the brain forms language. What processes it goes through to turn a string of words into a sentence. It happens in a split second, and then you say it, and there's no clear indication other than the occasional snippet of how it works. A lot of the evidence comes from ch ch childhood mistakes, which tells you what mistakes a person can make and the differences between languages and all that. But what the beauty about this is it's a single phenomenon in this one dialect. It, it only happens, as far as I know, in this dialect of English. And it shows how a person most likely goes about forming a WH question in the English language. So examples like this are really exciting to find in linguistics. Just these little snippets that give a hint at what's going on in your brain in those split seconds between when for you decide to, that you're going to say something when you actually say it. This video is a little bit shorter, I think, than the last ones, which may or may not be uh, to your liking. Uh, let us know any thoughts or suggestions you guys have. For it. We're very much in the developing stages, and I think if both Allison and I would appreciate any suggestions you have. The next video I do will most likely be on the, uh, brain chemistry and the differences between male and female brains. My next video, maybe next week, Allison's really busy with projects because it's getting to the end of the semester and she's an engineer. So I may see you next weekend or the week after. Bye. Look. What? My marker broke. The magnet's gone. Oh. Come back, magnet.